Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel VLSI Jabs. In the past, we have discussed about microprocessors as well as microcontrollers. We have made two separate videos for the same. If you haven't checked those videos out, please check our description box. We have put the links there. So first, refer to those videos. And now, we will talk about the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller as a part of our final conclusion in the series of microprocessor and controller. So, we will take a quick look on the characteristics of each and every processor and controller and check what is the difference between these two entities at the characteristic point of view. Okay, so let's get started. Now let's see the difference from the design or architectural point of view. In microprocessor, we know that all the components like RAM, ROM, input output device and other modules are connected externally to the microprocessor chip. So the system with microprocessor in it becomes quite heavy and bulky. While in case of microcontroller, all these external peripherals are embedded within the chip. So we can also refer to a microcontroller as a system on chip. And due to this, the size of the system with microcontroller in it is quite reduced or can say very simple or easy design architecture. So due to this hardware integration difference, we have two modules are getting affected. The one is power and the other one is cost. In microprocessor, the power consumption is quite high because the external peripherals are likely to consume a lot of power. While in case of microcontroller, all the external peripherals are embedded within the chip so they are supposed to consume less amount of power. And also this microcontroller based system can run on a constant supply like battery because they consume less power and this two system are likely to sustain on a constant supply like battery. While the same is not true with the microprocessor because, because it co consumes very huge amount of power, we need to give it a constant continuous power supply from the outside. If we talk about the costing, then due to heavy and bulky circuit of microprocessor, the cost also becomes huge because the external peripherals are supposed to be connected with the chip and the whole system becomes quite costly. While in case of the controller, we have all the components readily available on a chip. So the system with microcontroller in it is quite cheaper than the microprocessor. Now after architectural difference, we will learn about the functional difference that how these two entities are different from the functionality wise. So as you can see, let's take the example of our general purpose computer, which is considered as in a very typical microprocessor type. In general purpose computer, there are multiple tasks going on. Like as you can see on the screen, we have Google opened up, calculator opened up. Paint is open, VLC as well as the Linux terminal, also the calendar. So uh, based on the user's input, that particular microprocessor is supposed to execute that particular command and give the output accordingly. So the main task of this uh, microprocessor is to give the output as soon as the user commands. So here the throughput factor matters a lot rather than the interrupt in like in microcontroller. So as long as microprocessor is, processor is supposed to perform well or with high efficiency, that is supposed to be quite good microprocessor. So the task of this microprocessor is generic. While in case of the microcontroller, we have very specific tasks. Like as you can see on the screen, each and every device is supposed to do one particular job. Like if you have washing machine, then it's the only job of washing machine is to control the performance or control the operations of washing the clothes, right? When the water should be into it, when the clothes should be dried, or how the behavior of the various control buttons should be based on the user input. Also, you take the example of camera, like the only job of the camera is to click the pictures in the right proper fashion based on what user configures it. So microcontroller tasks 
are more supposed to be real time or task specific because as and when the real time interrupt is triggered they are interrupted externally and based on that they have to choose that which task i need to prioritize first based on the user's command given so here the interrupt priority matters a lot rather than the throughput so these two factors are main differentiating factor between microprocessor and microcontroller which are throughput and interrupt latency in microprocessor we are more inclined to improve the performance or throughput while in microcontroller we are more inclined to reduce the latency of the interrupt to get the better performance because these microcontrollers are very time specific device time sensitive device they are supposed to take decisions based on the right time otherwise the there is no use case of that particular task specific systems now as we said microprocessors are more inclined to throughput or efficiency then efficiency can only be increased with higher number of clock speed or clock cycle so microprocessors have clock speed in terms of gigahertz while in case of microcontrollers they have very less operations to execute timely manner they are supposed to execute that's why we need quite less clock frequency compared to microprocessor and that is in terms of megahertz also it differs from vendor to vendor again if we talk about the complexity then like you see the complexity of the performance or the tasks in microprocessor is quite high because microprocessor has to perform all the task that has that is given to it at one particular time that to simultaneously while in case of the microcontroller the complexity becomes quite less because the task is not that much but it's about when to trigger those tasks so yeah this is what we learned in functional difference of the performance of these two entities now if we talk about the summary of this whole difference between microprocessor and microcontroller and you can see this table you can refer this table to identify the difference in both the entities based on various characteristic like architectural difference operational difference how what is the difference in clock or hardware costing what is the operating speed power consumption and application so i hope you guys have at least the basic difference idea between this microprocessor and microcontroller you can join our community to make the most with vlsi jabs we have various platforms as you can see you can follow those platforms and get the knowledge out of it and share your knowledge with us so yeah that's all for today guys do like share and subscribe our channel See you soon. Goodbye.